friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I plan to tell India vs New Zealand first T20 review. After Kohli and his co had a fabulous and dominating 2019 against South Africa, Bangladesh, West Indies, and the mighty Australians in home sessions for New Zealand, their only benefit is that they are playing in home ground. Also, without star bowlers like Trent Bolt and Loki Ferguson, the upper hand is surely for India. There are many questions for Kohli to answer. The first question is that what is KL Rahul's position in the squad? K KL Rahul is in tremendous form and with Davin again ruled out of the series due to an injury, KL Rahul could get an another opportunity to cement his place in the top order. Second, will Rishabh Pant play in the first T20 against New Zealand? After Rishabh Pant play in the uh, after Rishab Pant the absence in the second and the third ODI against Australia, KL Rahul has also kept wickets and also have given an extra batting option for Team India. Now at toss, visiting captain Virat Kohli won the toss and elected to bowl first. Kohli says that five players are missing, but unfortunately Kohli could only remember three players: Sanju Samson, Kuldeep Yadav, and Avdeep Sainé. Now. The home captain Kane Williamson says that it is a 50-50 percentage and saying that in saying that two players are missing India's squad is Roy Sharma, KL Rahul, Virat Kohli, Shreyas Ayo, Shivam Dubey, Ravindran Jadeja, Manish Pandey, Mohammad Shami, Jasprit Bumra, Yudhavendra Chahal and Shardul Thakur. Now at the first innings two Kiwi batsmen Martin Guptil and Colin Munro were on crease. Both batsmen started a blistering start against the men in blue. A 16 run partnership for the loss of no wicket in the end of the power play. The score is 72 for the loss of 0 in 6.4 hours. Current run rate is 10.43. Shivam Dubey took on new and his very first ball itself, Martin Guptil was caught for 30. End of a fabulous partnership. It's 80 for the last of one wicket. New batsman in was the skipper Kane Williamson. After a quite comfortable 43 runs be partnership between them, Colin Munro was called for a well made 59 runs of 41 balls. New batsman in was Ro De uh, Colin De Grandhomme. But unfortunately, Colin De Grandhomme could not stay much in the crease as he was LBW. New batsman in was the experienced Ross Taylor. They both stitched a quick firing 40 runs partnership before Kane Williamson's skipper was caught by Virat Kohli of Yuzavendra Chahal after making a quick firing 51 runs of just 26 balls. Score was 180 for the loss of 4 wickets in 17.4 hours. Just after that, Jasper Boomerang got the wicket of Tim Seyfried. End of Boomerang's magnificent over, just giving 4 runs in the 90s.